Hey, welcome on board, uh, Carlo. It's uh, very nice to have you as guest as I am Bulang. So you're now official also a Bulang. Thank you, my pleasure. Family, I'm, honorated. Family. I I'm honorated to be part of Bulang family. Really yeah, honorated. Nice. And it was very nice having you over a few weeks ago. And uh, so together with Eugenie, it was very great fun. And also to really, uh, you know, understand mm -hmm. all your passions and all your things. As, as you have seen in, in our articles that people can read now in our magazine about your passions and also, you know, your, your, your partnership in, in, in our little thing is, um, yeah, you're collecting a lot of things over the years. And I have seen great yeah. stuff even just before our talks now. Uh, also on the fairs when I met you, always crazy watches, but also all crazy of bracelets, crazy art, crazy... Uh, stuff even from Bond movies in the past so I always knew you as a as a guy who not only has the coolest fashion on the fair and also the coolest stuff but also collecting deeply for everything you know you're almost like yeah. unique. so I'm, I'm really <laughs> proud to have you on board and share some of your stuff with us thank you it's, it's uh, sometimes I think I'm crazy because in the back time uh, I bought uh, uh, any kind of junk yeah. So any kind of things attract my eyes, so I bought it. Yeah. So imagine how many things I bought in the last 30 years. The interesting thing is, Carlo, that, that what you call junk back then is now golden stuff, you know, people are still looking for. Because I think also, you know, a lot of people are now looking for, you know, items that have like, some history, some story in it back again, and not our only like products or luxury products to put somewhere, but really have a soul. And that's what I saw with all the stuff of you, even the watches that you showed me, every of the single of one has a soul on them. So maybe that's the- of course. Yeah. Because the Bulan concept and my concept as well, for that reason, we, we are joined in the same direction, yeah. is I love, we love luxury, but we love as well, the things, poor or not poor, yeah. has in behind a good history. Yeah. So, and the history makes the things more attractive. Yeah. For me, so, but, but first, you, 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 but people need to understand because many and many Rolex collector I saw and I met in the last, I would say in the last three years, are boring of Rolex because if you want to buy any kind of Rolex, you can go everywhere and buy. Start from the latest model to the vintage model. No. And it's very easy to wear Rolex. Don't mistake me, I don't hate Rolex. Just because Rolex, it's yeah, not. Otherwise, we have to take you out. Ball. Carlo, because we are still Rolex lovers, but I totally understand your point in this. I, I, I agree with you. I feel it myself collecting now for 15 years, vintage Rolex, it was completely crazy. The last year I'm looking also more and more for, you know, the different things. It's not about the prestige anymore. It's about the, the items, but also the watches that really itch you, that when you have to look, you have to look like three times, four times to discover more and more beauty in depth than it's just the maybe the, the, the prestige of a reference or it's the, 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 because everyone loves it kind of thing. Yeah. Of course, but it's easy to wear Rolex, really yeah. easy. It's not easy to wear a different kind of maybe small watch, maybe different sh shape watch. It's not easy. Different brand, maybe small brand. Yeah. Really I, hard to pronounce as well. Yeah. So the, the, I understand. the story start yeah. to give value on the history because all the people I met in, in the last 15 years change idea about the small brand watches or different watches. When you start to tell the history in behind of the watches, in behind of the items, I'm talking about a military jacket, that's its boring style, yeah. no? Two um, shoes or a watch or a ring. So if something special is in behind, and you tell something special, the person who will buy the item can tell other people the experience he found in to buy this item. 
And it can tell something. With Rolex, you have no clue. You have no argue because everybody knows about Rolex. Yeah, I, I, I understand your point, but you know, I, I collected, I was lucky to find some of the original owner watches where you could find all the stories or mill subs or stuff where you could really connect with the people where there was more to it. But I totally agree, you know, you also gave us a few that I'm very happy that from your really private collection, you, you, you gave us four watches that we can now share with our customers and also, you know, put into our little, little own theme where we can show different watches with a different flavor, each and every one very special, exactly what you were just saying and, and, and also, you know, some of them really surprised me that for the first time I saw them and really now having them in the office, you know, feeling them are, are really, really special now also to me. So, yeah, we'd like to share some of them also with, with the people and, and, and hear your special story, what may exactly what you were just saying, what makes them so special. I mean, it's, it's, it's um, you know, it's, it's crazy if you think, you know, some of the watches that you gave us are like 100 years old and are still in this condition and imagine what they have seen, but also imagine how they have been developed or how they have been grown. So yeah, are you ready to show, tell us a little bit of the, the, the ones? Of course. Yeah, I'm happy. You know, the first one I find maybe almost, you know, was one of the big surprise for me and, and coming, you know, I, I went to London a lot of time, went to, not into Esprit, but walked by Esprit and then you see that it's such a bespoke company and, you know, I, I know all about the Omani uh, Rolex watches that came through Esprit and then to find a watch that is completely, you know, out of the ordinary and completely different, you know, let's start with the first one and it's this one just to show, but I will show some pictures bigger now so you can explain it way more because this one has a very, very special twist if you turn it to the backside and it is, yeah. tell us, what is it? I mean, it's crazy. Yeah, the, this uh, I think is a unique watch or maybe bespoke watch. Yeah. It's uh, made for Asprey. Asprey, you told before, uh, is a, a jewelry, is a, it's historical jewelry. Uh, from the, the king and is in Membon Street. And this watch is uh, made with the uh, domino. Yeah, it's, it, it, it's great. So the back part oh, is ivory and the top part is ebony. Yeah. And the middle carrier is metal. Yeah. yeah. And, and the size is so cool, you know, it's like... Yeah, it's very cool because, no, it's, it's rectangular. High. And this full side, it's the same size of Domino. Yeah, it's, it's you see look it. Look at the details, look at the crown. The yeah. crown really? yeah, yeah. fit inside the part yeah. of the Domino. Yeah. It's really specially made. And what I really like is also if you go into detail, you go to the dial, you know, in the next image, you see really like yeah. the silver print on top of it, you know, so. Yeah. So for me, Carlo, it's, 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 it's crazy, you know. I'm not sure if you know the full story behind it or, or not, but imagine someone going in there, maybe a player or, or, or you know, a gambler or something else, asking for, 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 hey, I want a watch specially made out of this or into this shape. Yeah. This thing, I mean, this is really bespoke work. Yeah, and the other things, the other detail is the crown is not thick. No, it's so yeah, at yeah. the same level, of the domino yeah it's 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 almost like you know if, if you look from up front it's that black uh, bigger bigger shape it almost feels like uh, uh, a deco kind of thing and then suddenly there pops up the, the the domino thing it's really a cool twist really unique yeah, it's really cool. yeah so what for me this makes it so special because it's unique and also um you know, it's really a talking piece. If you have this one on the wrist, you are, I think you, you know, everyone will, will, will talk about it. You, you are unique, that, 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 that we talked before. Yeah. If you were something unique, you are unique. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Totally. Different style, yeah. no, yeah. different look. For me, this is just one of the coolest surprises of this year, this watch, to be honest. You know, really? really? Yeah. yeah, really, because it's, it's something, it's so light, so comfortable, and has so much twist to it. It's, 
what, what I like about it is that it is something you wear for yourself. It's really something that is special on your own list. So yeah, really unique piece. Imagine to wear with a, a double breast jacket, uh, blue color. Yeah, no, where you wear cool. it over, over the over the uh, over the blouse, it's it's, it's very cool. Over the, the yeah, shirt. really cool. Yeah. Hey, the next one, you also brought uh, a, a a cool chronograph. Um, yeah. I mean, we talked about it's it's this one, Movado. I mean, Movado yeah. has become quite popular over the last years. Uh, yeah. But this one has, yeah, some specialty to it. The light doesn't show it, but I will also show some some cool pictures of it. Um, yeah, there was some inspiration with it that made it very special for you. Yeah, this Movado, the, the case looked like a Patek under 30 and the, the dial is amazing. And the machine, it's really, really interesting because it's M90. Yeah. M90, it's, um, I think it's one of the top quality machine produced by Movado. You see that the tail, the small hands. Yeah, yeah, very yeah it's like a snake. Movado. Yeah, like the snake, very typical for Movado. Yeah, very and typical of Movado. It, as you this say, watch is 1940. 1940, yeah, yeah. As, as you say, yeah. it reminds you of the Patek. And, and, you know, I had um, some good friends that started to collect Movados many years ago already. And they came up with these movados that looked like the, you know, the, the famous steel Calatravas from Patek with brigand yeah. rolls, same cases like Patek. And, and I think that is something, you know, not known to all the people around is that, that back in the 40s, many of the brands used the same case maker, the same kind yeah, of... The same bow gel. Yeah, even... even FB. The FB producer made yeah. the same case from, yeah. Yeah, really, they make this. and Patek as well. Always Patek. So, you know, in steel, something like this from Patek, where would it be these days? I don't know. And the other cool things is yeah. the bottom part of the center second hand yeah. has a small drop. Yeah. See, yeah. And also the, the numeral are in a different, in a different contrast I would say our silver. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of detail in, in, in such a, you know, it's not a big watch, but it's very present on the wrist. You know, I have yeah. an image of you on the wrist, I will show it now. And it's, 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 uh, it's what, what I like with these kind of watches that they are very stylish in a way. You know, what you yeah. talked about earlier, you had all these trends of everyone trying to get these big watches. They had to get bigger and 42 and 43 millimeters. And okay. I, see, I see it right with myself, but also see it with a lot of friends and, and also collectors who were that we start again to, you know, cherish these smaller watches light. They wear different. They, they sit loose on your wrist and really, really stylish. So I, 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 I really enjoy these, these measurements and, and, you know, all the details that are in these kind of dials because they are very balanced with a lot of depth also in it. So yeah, really cool watch, chronograph. Um, I mean, I once seen a very, very, very small Rolex chronograph that was way even smaller. If you imagine how much was still be able to put into these movements and into these uh, watches back then. It's very cool. Yeah. Yeah. And I like the straight end link bracelet, which makes it, you know, the style is, is one of our favorite styles also. Yeah. Yeah, I love it as well. Yeah. Hey, the next one is really a surprise to me um, because maybe it's something that I would have never looked at in the last years. Or, and, and, and once I saw them and had them in the hands and you showed them and also I was able to, to you know, work with them, yeah, it really feels like there's something special to it and maybe even something new to it, you know. I think many of us wristwatch wearers are, are lost a little bit the, the look on pocket watches mm -hmm. or these kind of special watches. And I want to show it. And it's really, you know, very, very, very cool. It's, it's like this. It's very close. It's gold. But this one has a real nice twist. Because if you open it up, I have to see if I have the good right side. There's the watch in there. And what I found most interesting with this is even the unique thing, what is it, 1920s? So yeah, 2030, yeah. yeah. 
and then it has like already that technical in, in you know innovation that if you close it the movement gets wind up if you show the crown yeah. during the moving the crown moves i see if i can can show it if, if people can see it you see yeah it's hard to see but yeah i can see it yeah so it's really 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 cool thing that these kind of watches that people have been wearing in their in their in their jackets in their uh, yeah you know have have small but but are very very special and this one is you know maybe even more special i will show some pictures so people can also see that what makes it yeah it's 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 a best watch or, or yeah or jacket watch yeah i will show everyone so they can see also what makes it so special yeah it's it's a movado also with some great numerals on it and it was done for Cachet, so that's very special. Tell us about that. Yeah, the, the, also the numerals are, the index are really cool. You see the shape, the nine, the ten. Nine. Yeah, 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 even look uh, at- They are really cool. The it's, it's in the, it's, yeah. it's, it's uh, looks like Breguet, but not Breguet. It is a unique, yeah. Yeah, it's, very it's, 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 it's typical from Movado, yeah. uh, from 20 to 30. And, I bought this watch uh, 15 years back because a very big collector in Italy, uh, he had uh, top quality watches. Was it, at that time it was a little bit boring of pocket watches, and I bought the full collection. And uh, only one Cartier was there, but in uh, this kind of mo model, I would say Hermeto, I bought. 10 to 15 watches. Very cool, yeah. They are still with me, yeah. They are, few, they, have, they are very special, you know, this, this, is, this is really cool. And, and also the way how you can wear them completely different, you know, it's not a wristwatch, but it's absolutely an object of desire for me uh, to be. Yeah. Uh, how, tell us, how have you been wearing it? Have you been wearing it on a, on a, on a, on a, on a chain, on a golden chain or just? In yeah, the th there's a, a special hook. Yeah. On the top part, if, if you can show one more time from yeah, yeah I will, I will from, from from your hand, maybe you uh, we can see from the pics. Yeah, yeah. see, yes, yeah. this typical yeah. to attach the chain. Yeah, yeah, Very to cool. be sure to don't uh, to uh, be to don't be lose, safe don't lose to it. don't lose the watch. Yeah, but as said, maybe maybe I'm not sure if I will wear it every day these days. But for me, it's absolutely it's super cool. You know, object that you would put even you know on your table or on your desk or wear it sometimes on special occasions. Yeah. But the fact that it's in this condition, hundred years old, and and still you know running yeah. like this so smoothly for me, that's that's unique. That's the top. Quality. Can you show me the back the back part of the watch? I will do. Yeah, yeah. that's that's a dedication, no? Yeah. What, what year is imprinted there? Is uh, engraved? 1928 yeah yeah imagine yeah almost almost 100 years old someone <laughs> someone back then had gotten this i think was it a, a gift gift uh, present christmas present yeah a christmas 1928 it was it was yeah. it's a christmas present yeah. yeah so that's very very special yeah so for me this is also inspiration to you know look at at, at new watches different things so you know new territory for me and for us so that's very cool and we are really happy that we could you know share this last but not least uh, you know they have you have another one um that's maybe a little bit more familiar with me but you have certain special oddities on it that makes it also very special you know we are big friends of tudor um always have been um i'm honest when i started collecting 15 years ago Back then, still, there was maybe a little bit of a feeling of Tudor was, you know, when I couldn't buy my first Millsap, I bought a Tudor Man, something like this, you know, three things. But over the years, the snow... The poor Rolex, I will say. Yeah, yeah back, back then, you had kind of that feeling. But over the last years, I really, or long, long time now, and I have grown to love Tudor also for what they are, but also all their little oddities and, and, and also... Uh, I mean, you imagine back in the 50s, Tudor was also kind of an ex experiment for the for the for, for Hans Wildorf, you know, to do things, to <coughs> experiment with uh, military, to to you know test things. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
And this watch is, is a really, really cool Tudor also from that time, from the 50s, with some, yeah. some you know, features. It's hard to see in this slide, but we, I will show some pictures where you can see way more what makes this watch so special. And for me, it is the warm and the details that it has, the, the, the kind of rose gold indexes. Yeah. And, and I will show some, some itch, uh, images um, so you can see it. And, and the pictures even can't really show it in, 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 in details as, as much as I can you know, see it live. Let's see if you can, I can share it. Yeah, there you yeah. can see it. You know, the, the it's an amazing honeycomb dial. Yeah, the it's honeycomb really dial, amazing. The, the, the classic oyster shape. Um, you know, these look, these, look at the figure. So there's it's, two different levels first level and second level go down when there's a point at the end. I'm, I'm trying to, what do, do you mean? I, I'm talking about the figure at number 12, 3, 6, and 9. Okay. They are not in the same level. The lower, the, the arrow come down. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Can so you see that? Three dimensional, yes. Yeah, yeah it's, it's really cool. Yeah. So the, and yeah. the patina is amazing on the dial. The patina is live even nicer, to be honest. It's even warmer than on this picture. I mean, the, the, the indexes yeah. are even a little bit more red, red gold uh, like almost. But the dial is, is, is really amazing. I see it. the next image shows a little bit more of the, you know, where you can see a little bit more the detail, um, you know, with the old logo. But yeah, also what, what for me, I saw them a couple of times with you and in, in your interview with us, you're also talking about the, you know, the travels you did to India and Asia, yep. and all, your, the, all the world that you traveled. And you found, as, as far as I know, you found even this piece in India, correct? Yes, I bought this piece in India and the, the proof of the, or, of the, the, where this piece I found is coming from the bracelet. Yeah. Uh, the bracelet is typical, big logo, yeah, I... made for Indian market, produced in India yeah. under Rolex license. Yeah, you can... I am advertising the guarding the bracelet because the big logo with the four dots in the claps yeah. are typically of Indian Rolex bracelet production. I will, I will show in a minute live, but uh, you can see with the bracelet what makes it so cool is that it's really kind of hollow, you know, the, the, the links are yeah. hollow, hollow, which makes it super light and comfortable, but also you know, very special. And if you don't know that it's, you know, fully authentical and original, then, it, then at first you are a little bit, you know, uh, 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 put aside or feel like, oh, what, what is this? But it, it, for me also with the index, almost like hooded uh, kind of endlings, uh, like you saw on the bubble bags in, 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 in earlier, yeah. really make, makes the watch pop and gives it a very special feeling. So yeah, this is really for me is, is, is kind of a, you know, with these smaller watches, not to prestige, but coming from the, from you know great house with 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 all the yeah. from the fifties. Imagine you know the explorer kind of watches, um, and then having this dial and, and and this looks on the on the on the wrist, it really uh, is a blast. So for me, these are these little gems that are, you know, long time maybe under under, they're not undervalued but under. Um, cherished in a way for some people. Yeah, I, I would like to tell you a story about the bracelet and the, and the watch. Yeah, he is uh, a big, big logo. I start to study at the beginning about the Rolex bracelet with big logo, yeah. typically from Indian market. And at the beginning, I thought the bracelet was fake yeah. because I haven't had any kind of proof regarding the originality and the production, the India production from this bracelet. So I bought the bracelet with the watch as well. And during my holiday in uh, India, I started to ask the big dealer on the big collector some proof about the bracelet, about the originality of the bracelet. Because the Indian people as well, 
don't trust on the originality of this bracelet. So one day I was in uh, my friend uh, watches and parts, watches part, uh, watch in Mumbai. And this guy introduced me an old man and the old man was the owner of the factory. So cool, yeah. So he showed me all the pics of the contract with the Rolex, all oh. the authorization to produce the, the Rolex bracelet oh. under Rolex license. That's very and cool. And show me a lot of bracelet he produced at that time, not for Rolex only, but for, for gay friends as well. So cool, yeah. I mean, I think these are the very cool stories, you know, not many people know and, and, and there are still so many mystery, mysteries about those times where, you know, brands have produced all over the world, I guess, and, 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 and you special contractors at, at different places. I mean, if, if also if you imagine like the American bracelets or the Mexican bracelets are different. Yeah. This one, yeah, for me, really, really is cool with these end links. So, yeah, very cool that you also not only, you know, found the watch with the brace, but also have the brew. Uh, and I know you told me that the guy showed you a lot of bracelets also, designs and stuff that really happened. Uh, and you know how rare are in Rolex the big logo bracelet? Yeah. I remember this one, because produced only for a couple of years. Yeah, I owned once one bracelet with big logo clasp uh, for my big crown many years ago. Also, and with, yeah, I found the advertising of this big logo as well. Very cool. Yeah. yeah, I have the paper advertising of this big logo bracelet. Yeah, I, I so the proof the proof is done. The proof is done. Okay, that's cool. And I also thought you showed me some of the packaging of the of the bracelet. Uh, yes. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, I mean, for me, it's it's a very nice bonus that it has this cool bracelet, and also, again, the watch, the face of the watch is very special. So for me, yeah. you know what I love? I love the back of this watch because the back it's the the, the back of this Tudor are really cool. You have a pics of the back? And uh, not 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 here, but I can show. Maybe you can show it a little bit like this, and you also see yeah. a little bit. Yeah. You can see from the back the age of the watch, but the condition is, you see the number are really clear. Yeah, fully clear, completely, uh, yeah. you can see the reference. So yeah. It's I mean, was from 1950, yeah? Yeah. So I'm, seven years back, more than 70 years. What I like about this one is that it has so much charisma. That that's what I like so much more about it. It really talks about what we talked in the beginning. That it really you know tells a story. Every angle you turn it, it shows a different you know reflection on the dial with with a honeycomb and and really. But the, the the another detail of the dial, it's not classical honeycomb. No. Because it looked like a a, a brick. Yeah. Yeah, it look like a bigger than, it look like, I would say, look like Royal Oak AP. I know, I know, I know where you're coming from, yeah, with this, yeah. It's it's Royal Oak like AP. Square bricks and different, yeah, absolutely. A little bit more refined maybe than the AP, you know, smaller, but, but, but has this kind of structure. But that's what I'm saying, you know, when you, when you twist it in the light, it, it, it's dancing. Uh, that, that's what I like yeah. much about it. Yeah. yeah. Cool, Carlo. I mean, really, really, really nice to have you not only on board with this, you know, special collection, four watches from your private collection that you are sharing with us and that are now available with us in the shop, but also, you know, sharing, you know, these, these special pieces and also, to be honest, inspiring me um, to look different at, 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 at watches and finding new watches also that, that are, you know, getting me into the next level. So that's what I always like also with get togethers, but also, you know, with this meeting with you and, and, and sharing this is that it really opens new doors um, and hope also will keep opening new doors in the future. And, and, and uh, um, for many other collectors also to look at, at all kinds of different watches in a different way and discover them and cherish them and, and hopefully yeah. longer, for a long time to come. Step by step, we will, uh... Yeah. Discover 
that's that's the interesting thing. That's the interesting. There's... I would say in my life, I, I bought, and I have, in, I still have in my collection more than eight hundred watches. But if, the, not Rolex, and <laughs> sorry for that, uh, but different brand, yeah. and not big brands, small brand, because I love to, you know, to, to study on the history. I mean, I, I saw a few of them and they are really, really cool ones and rare ones in there and, and also some that are really surprising. So thanks for sharing, Carlo, for, for today. And Thanks uh, for your hospitality, Bernard, and, and I hope to, yeah. yeah. I hope, I hope to inspire our product. people yeah, to, 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 you know, find new ways, find new territory and enjoy, mostly enjoy vintage watches. That's, that's the cool thing. Yeah. Thanks, Carlo. Good night. And yeah, everyone who was interested in these watches, visit us at bulangensons.com. Under the watches, there's a special little catalog with the four watches of Carlo. And uh, hope one will find a new home with, with a great collector that will also cherish them the same way that you did in the past. So I hope uh, we can connect them and, and then also, you know, give them a new home soon. Thanks, Carlo. And talk soon again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you.